Tēnā koutou e hoa mā, nau mai hoki mai ki a Uniquest, ko Chris Huriwai toko ingoa, ko a hau to kaiako wiretahi i tēnei rā. Welcome to Uniquest, today is Flatland episode 5, and today is a pretty awesome episode because we're going to be learning 180 unispin, we're going to be doing one of your first Flatland combos, seat drop to leg wrap, and we'll finish it off with the first roll trick of Uniquest, a half roll. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, we're finally going to finish off the 180 uni spin. I'm going to leave the prerequisite tricks down in the description below, which will be the uni spin jump mount and the foot plant 180 uni spin. If this is a trick that you're struggling with because you're scared about hitting your shins, I really recommend getting some shin pads. If you can do anything to remove the fear, to remove anything you're worried about, uh, it's really going to help you to progress with this trick. So have a look online and look for shin pads. Sometimes you can just get um, soccer shin pads or you can go on unicycle.com and get some professional unicycle protective gear. So let's think about body position. You really want to have your back kind of bent over like this because the seat is out in front naturally you're going to have more of your weight leaning backwards but you don't want to lean back too much so try and think about bending over a little bit like this bending over your unicycle because you don't want to be like this. I see a lot of people with their back straight like this, straight back and when your back is straight like this it's really hard to stay balanced and to adjust your balance when needed. So be like this, keep everything nice and tight. So quick revision with hand positioning. Your front hand here, back hand here, thumbs meeting in the middle. And when you do your 180, you want to remove that back hand and then bring those thumbs together right here. Don't bring your unicycle up like this. Don't bring your unicycle up. Try and keep it as close to the ground as possible. Just like that. And try not to jump too high, like this. You know, you really don't need to make it uh, a bigger jump than necessary, like that. Try and just throw your legs out slightly. So instead of going up, we're gonna go out, all right? So like this. Out. Just like that. All you have to do is make sure that you throw your feet out far enough that the unicycle wheel isn't going to hit your feet like this because it's going to stop the unicycle from spinning obviously. So just try to throw your legs out far enough just so you can clear that wheel. Just like that. Remember to stay leaning over the unicycle as much as possible. This is going to keep you nice and centered and balanced when you land back on the uni like this. Stay over like that. Often people lean backwards and it's a common reason for them to fall off like this. They kind of like this and then they end up going backwards like that. If you want, you can land one footed like this, just as a warm up. But just be mindful if you're going to do the whole one foot landing. It's quite easy to get into a habit of leaning backwards because you're going to be like this most likely. You're going to be like this, like that because landing back on the unicycle can be quite scary. That's when shin pads or doing this trick on grass can come in handy. Doing it on grass is quite good because then you don't have to worry about falling on the concrete. But learning a trick on concrete is generally better because the ground is nice and flat. So it's nice and predictable. So if you're gonna land with one foot, that's okay. But just try and keep in mind leaning over like this. And make sure you do it with both feet. Like so. Two things to try and stay away from. Don't pre-hop your uni spin like this. Whoa, like that. Because sometimes it can make things go out of control. It can bring your unicycle up. Sometimes it makes the crank spin. So try not to hop into a uni spin like that. Try and leave the unicycle on the ground and when you're ready, do the spin without pushing into the ground like this. Another thing to stay away from is uh, bunny hopping too much, like too much of a build up before you actually attempt the trick like this. You'll be like bunny hopping, bunny hopping, bunny hopping, <laughs> bunny hopping, bunny hopping, and then you'll get tired 
and then by the time you actually attempt the trick, you've ran out of energy. So don't bunny hop like this for too long before you do your trick. You can say to yourself, I'm gonna do four bunny hops before I attempt the trick. Otherwise you can get paralyzed, kind of stuck in that place of just endlessly bunny hopping before you do your trick. So get on your uni and think to yourself, okay, after four hops, I'm gonna attempt like this. One, two, three, four. Just like that. When you're ready to land back on the unicycle, don't worry about landing on the pedals. Ideally, that is what you wanna do. You wanna land like this, like that, right on the pedals. But while you're just starting out, that can be quite scary, it can be quite difficult. So just focus on landing on the cranks of the unicycle, not just the pedals, which is gonna give you a bigger landing platform to land your trick like that. And finally, something you can try is to actually film yourself. Because like I'm saying about leaning over the unicycle, it's quite a big factor. If you find yourself falling off in a different direction, it's usually because you're not leaning over the unicycle correctly. So consider setting up a camera or getting a buddy to film you so that you can analyze what you're doing wrong. And lastly, 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 this really is a mental game. So whatever you can do to get yourself amped up to try this trick, listening to music, shin pads, doing it on grass, whatever you have to do um, so that you can get through that wall, push through it to attempt your first uni spin. Do whatever you have to do because it really is a mental game which I can't stress enough. One, two, three, four. Wow. Yeah, so that's it for 180 uni spin. Best of luck learning this incredibly fun and fundamental flatland trick. Best of luck. All right, so the next thing we're gonna learn is a seat drop leg wrap. So this is a combination of two tricks. So you're gonna wanna have your seat drop as solid as possible. That's gonna be our foundation trick. You wanna have it really solid if you're gonna be adding anything on afterwards. So I'll leave seat drop, leg wrap, and leg extension down in the description below. The leg extension is gonna be a good one for you to practice. That's this one, which then brings in the leg wrap afterwards. So get practicing on those and we'll see you soon. Since this is a combination move, there's not many tips I can give you that I haven't given you already. So here are a few different tricks you can try uh, as a warm up for combining those two. One of them is to do a bit of a still stand before you do your leg wrap. So instead of bunny hopping, bunny hopping, leg wrap, instead we're gonna try and wait a few seconds, or maybe two seconds is probably enough, something like this. One, two, and then a leg wrap, just like that. Seat drop and then a fake seat drop, which is when you keep your hand on the seat. So like this, seat drop, and then a fake seat drop, just like that. Seat drop, leg extension, just like this. Seat drop, leg extension, just like that. So as you're pulling your seat up, as you're pulling your seat up, naturally you're gonna be leaning a lot on this foot. It's gonna be a lot of weight on this foot. And so when the seat comes back up, as soon as you get your hand on that seat, you're gonna push it out to the side and take your other foot off. Seat drop, pull it up, leg out, like that. And this is largely a one-handed trick, so feel free to have this arm out for balance, like this. Seat drop, leg extension, back in. Make sure you stay leaning over like this, don't lean back. Stay leaning over, like that and try and flick the seat back quite hard, okay? Like this, a good flick. You don't wanna to have to be picking up the seat like that. Make it a nice strong flick. Just like that. When you're bringing in your hand for the leg wrap, grab it right at the back here, okay? Then you can do your leg wrap nice and fast. So this, at the back, leg wrap. Don't forget your normal tips for a leg wrap, which is pushing your uni out to the side like this, okay? So as you do your wrap, remember push your uni out to the side before your wrap, just like that. There, then push your uni out to the side, leg wrap. As soon as you start to bring the unicycle up, start thinking about taking your other foot off. Feel free to use some assistance to grab onto a wall. That way you can get a bit of an understanding of this trick. Okay, and lastly, we're gonna finish it off with your first roll trick, or the first roll trick that I'm gonna teach you anyway. So this is a half roll. 
Uh, it's not a very popular trick, but I think it's a great one to introduce yourself to these types of tricks. And it's the first roll trick that I learned. So, so this is what it looks like, a half roll, just like this. Shloop. Just like that. So this is also mostly a one-handed trick. So find something to hold on to. So you can go like this. Uh, just make sure, and this applies to any time you're holding on to something, make sure you're as centered as possible over your unicycle, okay? So you should be able to stay in this position and let go, just for a little bit. If you find that as soon as you let go, you're gonna fall like that, then obviously you're not centered properly over your unicycle. So if you're gonna hold on to something, just make sure that you're as as postured correctly as possible, otherwise doing it like this is gonna be a complete waste of time. So you should be able to still stand here for a little bit. That's how you know you're in a good centered position. Okay, so let's get started. You're gonna put your foot on the front crank. Now, the part of the crank that connects to the hub is going to essentially be right in the middle of your foot, right in the middle there, okay? So put that foot on the crank, just like this, get yourself up there and your hand on the seat is gonna be the opposite hand to whichever front foot you've got. So my right foot is in the front, so I'm gonna use my left hand on the seat. Now, don't grab it at the back or in the middle. You wanna grab it right on the tip of the handle like this, okay? Get yourself centered up there. And now what we're gonna do is essentially just play around, okay? So you're gonna get a bit of an understanding of what it's like to roll around on your crank. So. One thing you can try, bring this knee in. We're gonna try and push our weight forward. So essentially we're gonna go from this position to this position and we're gonna bring our knee forward. So at the moment it's out the back and then we're gonna bring it in and push our body forward. Just like this, bring that knee in, push forward and your unicycle should roll forward half a rev just like that. And what you'll notice with your foot on the crank, the part of the crank connecting to the hub right in the middle of your foot, it's gonna stop the unicycle from rolling forward anymore. After that half rev, the crank is gonna be caught uh, by your heel to stop it from rolling forward. So just experiment with this. See what it feels like to roll around on your cranks, pushing your body weight forward like that until you start actually trying to put your foot back on. So experiment, experiment, and then see what it feels like to return your feet to the pedals. The key to roll tricks, uh, crank roll tricks, just like this, is understanding where to lean with your body, okay? So I'm gonna push my body weight forward a little bit, lean it forward, but then I have to counteract by straightening up a little bit. I don't wanna lean back too dramatically, but after that initial push forward, you do have to kind of reel yourself back a little bit to recenter your balance. So I'm gonna push forward, then kind of consciously try and center myself again. Once you've centered yourself, that then gives you the best foundation uh, in terms of where you're gonna move to finish off this trick. So after you've experimented with that for a little bit, we're actually gonna push the tire with our foot, okay? Just like that. Now the principle is the same. You want to be shifting your body weight forward a little bit. That's why I taught you to initially do it like this, really pushing your body weight forward. Yeah, it's just not gonna work if you don't know to shift your body weight, all right? When you're ready to push the tire, don't push it down here at the bottom and don't push it too hard either. You just need to give it a slight, gentle little tap, starting at the top, so just like this. Just like that. And the reason why you just wanna do a slight gentle tap is because this foot, this foot here, is actually what's gonna help you to balance, okay? Get your foot out in the air so that you can use it to balance as quick as possible. So now we're gonna work on putting our feet back on the pedals and there's about three different ways I can show you to do this. But uh, hold on if need be, but just remember while you're holding on, it's gonna be pulling you backwards potentially, so just be really conscious of where you're holding on. Now the first way to get back on is to just bring your leg back around from where it came from and then to throw the seat under you like that. 
The second way to return your foot is to essentially go all the way around the seat to do a leg wrap essentially. So like this, your foot is going to come from that direction. It's going to be coming around a little tap, a little push, and then complete the, the leg wrap just like that by going around the seat. It can be a bit difficult to get your other foot back onto the pedal. That's normally the struggle, but with practice, it'll come with time, so don't worry. The third way to get your feet back to the pedals is to actually do another half push at the back like this, and then to put your foot back where it came from, which is quite easy to do while you're holding on. This is essentially like an idle, half a roll forwards, half a roll backwards. It's a little bit more advanced, but give it a try and see what works for you. Try not to get stuck on the wall because when you're holding on, of course, that's gonna mean one of your hands is unable to do these uh, recorrecting, balancing type of movements. So try the trick off of the wall, just like this. Back around, like that. Completing that leg wrap. So like this, zoop, just like that. And this trick is called a push mush. Just like this, a push and then a mush, like that. Tāpai, ko tērā te mutunga o te akoranga i tēnei rā. Kia kaha, kia maia, kia manoa nui. Be strong, be brave and be patient or steadfast. Uh, practice makes perfect, so if you're struggling with those tricks, just take your time and uh, yeah, be patient with yourself. The 180 uni spin is an incredibly important and foundational trick for flatland unicycling. Once you master it, make sure you celebrate that trick because it is an incredibly important one, uh, as well as your first roll trick and the first uh, combination, the seat wrap, uh, the seat drop to leg wrap. So yeah, be patient. These are some hard tricks and I'm sure it's gonna take you some time, but you'll get there if you practice. Uh, if you've been enjoying this series, you can support UniQuest on Patreon. You get early access as well as some bonus content. Um, there's not a whole lot going on there at the moment. I've been caught up with some other um, projects that I've been working on for a long time, uh, but I will be continuing with this series. So if you enjoy it, jump on the Patreon. Um, it's really motivating to see the Patreon um, support grow and uh, I really appreciate it. So thank you as well to all of my Patreons on there. Until next time, Matewa, peace out.